Central, anticipating about a nine foot storm surge out for portions of uh, northern Florida and even into parts of Georgia, dealing with 20 foot waves off the coast of Jacksonville, 19 foot waves off the coast of Charleston. Winds extremely high as well, still looking at them gusting 55 out over toward Jacksonville into the 40s over through Charleston. The winds are going to continue to increase for Georgia and South Carolina, but everyone else in Florida starting to see that decrease as the storm system moves away from them, still packing winds of 110 miles per hour as it continues to move a little bit further out to the north. Right now, the hurricane forecast continues to take it closer to Charleston or into Myrtle Beach, and that is sort of uh, interesting news. So it might still skirt the coastline, but possibly making a landfall officially. Coming up, we'll take a look at our local. Let's think about warm weather, the fact that summertime gets to stay with us a little bit longer. Clouds moving in all in part due to a storm system out over toward Baja. It's not going to be around for tomorrow. We'll get a little bit more sunshine. Temperatures staying toasty for us in Ramona. 88 degrees there. Winds only about 12 miles per hour. So this is a fairly weak scent in and we're not dealing with extremely dry conditions and thus that's why that fire weather watch was canceled yesterday. High pressure is still starting to build and strengthen out over toward the four corners. It's looking like Sunday will in fact be the hottest day. So keep that in mind if you're heading out to the Polish festival when you're having your Polish hot dog looks like you're going to need lots of drinks for you on into the end of the weekend when temperatures really are going to peak. Here's your forecast starting off at about six o'clock tonight. We should overall stay mostly clear into the low to mid 70s for the coast inland areas, the upper 70s to near 80 degrees out toward Lakeside and even through El Cajon. Now tomorrow morning we'll wake up with those clear conditions yet again. I don't think we're going to get too much fog just quite yet, but overall values are going to be somewhat seasonal along the coast into the mid 60s and do with the upper 50s out over toward Ramona, Campo waking up at about 59 degrees. Now into the afternoon hours, these values are a little bit, I think, too cool. We should actually see these temperatures climb closer to the low to mid 80s for the coastline. Inland areas about 93 into El Cajon, 85 degrees out toward you in La Mesa, maybe a degree or two higher. That breeze really staying confined out toward the mountain and desert areas about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's not super strong really to usher in extreme heat for us. I think we'll get a little bit more fog though as we get to early Early Sunday and with that if the fog is super thick along the coast that might actually keep our temperatures uh, from warming up too extreme but nonetheless still going for the lower 80s 82 into Del Mar and even about 76 degrees for you into Palomar Mountain. Come up we'll talk more about what's warm you like it cool everyone likes a weekend see we have something for everyone to get <laughs> excited about. Temperatures today were about 13 degrees above the norm we got to 87 degrees tomorrow pretty much the same scenario and we could see it again as we head on in through Sunday so going for the 80s for the coast. Inland areas about 89 degrees. Maybe a light breeze for you. Occasionally getting up to 15 miles per hour. Mountain communities starting out your day at only 54, but you quickly warm up to 79. That's about five degrees warmer than where you were today. It looks like the deserts are also going to warm up about another five degrees. Here's the cool down we're waiting for. Notice the jet stream. What happens is it takes a dip in response to cooler air. Right now we have that bump up for the warm air mass, but notice on Tuesday, now we start to usher in that slight feeling like fall. Coming up, we talked about just how cool those temperatures will be. Guys. Dull if you so choose. Yeah, but not so much a drill instructor <laughs> screaming at me on the beach on a Saturday morning. You don't like that? Yeah, no, no, no not thanks. Idea. I'll pass. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe something else that motivates you is nice warm weather. You can go for a little jog earlier in the morning before that major heat begins to arrive. And then it's great to head out to the beach, right, with the whole family as temperatures are forecast actually go on up. Right now, we're looking at them currently in Escondido, 87 degrees, 90 into El Cajon. That is the same value for you rolling through La Mesa. Today, we did see those winds a little on the high side out toward the mountain communities, gusting up to 33 into Julian. But right now, those have pretty much calmed down, only looking at around 13 mile per hour winds. Still looking at those winds, though, into the the mountain areas coming in out of the east so that's trying to warm things up. You can see how the speed really increases as it goes right along the foothills. Temperatures for the coastline as a result of the warmer air obviously have increased well above the norm and will stay about five to ten degrees above average for us all the way for the rest of the weekend. A broad look what's happening across the rest of the country. Cold air going to move out over toward North Dakota and even into Minnesota. They have frost advisories and freeze warnings up for them. Elsewhere, obviously the big chunk of rain happening now. A movie out of Florida and in fact, it looks like Hurricane Matthew about 50 miles to the north of Jacksonville. So it's getting closer to Georgia and even into the South Carolina area. The shading in red, a hurricane warning continues to be up for the area until around 9 p.m. on Monday. On Monday, tropical storm warning stays as well. That's the area shaded in orange. I think predominantly really just because of a lot of the uh, 
I don't really know why it's up for so long, to be honest with you. I'll have to look into that. One thing we do know, though, is the rainfall totals are going to increase. Primarily, South Carolina is still looking at potentially almost 11 inches of rain. There could be pockets of 15 inches of rain between South Carolina and even rolling through North Carolina. 7 day forecast, 82 degrees for the next two days. Then we go down on Tuesday to the low 70, 85. Let's look at your 7 day forecast, guys. Over to you. All right, thanks.